just because this film is classy, the score, the film stock, the cinematography, the wardrobes, the sets, don't think that they don't have a shirtless dishwasher from Punk Rock. I know you want me to get to that shirtless dishwasher, and I will. <clears throat> CJ Lang has the most infamous scene in this movie with Wade Nichols, who is the star of Punk Rock 1977, the same year this film came out, Barbara Broadcast. He goes from being the lead in an amazing film to the, the scenery-chewing scene stealer of this infamous and famous picture. And he's uncredited? Wade Nichols, R.I.P. I know what you're saying. Jason, he's not the dishwasher, he's a cook. I got in a fight in seventh grade about this with Okay, so I touched on a few things. This film has a lot of stars in it. However, our film basically has four people in it and a tons of extras, tons of extras. Have you ever seen so many extras in a movie? Our film is basically starring two men and two ladies. The ladies are Annette Haven and CJ Line. Annette Haven is a celebrity and CJ is a reporter. Almost this entire film takes place as an interview setting. And then all the crazy rigmarole that happens around them. Our two males are Bobby Astier and Wade Nichols. Hey, Bobby Astier was in punk rock with Wade Nichols. I, I swear to God, that didn't even occur to me until right you saw it happen live. And I just did a bunch of research and wrote a mini script on this. I bet they were homies. They both seem super cool. So Bobby Astier is the maitre d'. All right, let's watch this. I will be speaking at the end of the film as well. Now this, I don't know. I think this is filled with copywritten music. Claimed, barefoot's just getting claimed, claimed. No, I hope not. It was fun to cut and I hope you like it. I would appreciate Excuse it if you did. I don't mean to intrude, but my brother's kind of shy, and, well, he's a big, big fan of yours. Well, would you mind giving him an autograph? Why so shy? You're such a successful author. Well, I'll tell you, it beats writing for a living. Typing, you know, it breaks your nails. Do you type? I was a secretary. Really? I enjoy taking shorthand. Oh, I prefer longhand. Where did you get such nice teeth? One night, I caught the tooth fairy under my pillow. <laughs> Would you like another, sir? Uh, no, thanks. Just coffee. Now, what else did I leave out of the book? Oh, do you want to go on to the strange people who work for you? There was this slightly strange one who liked to hang out in front of bus terminals. 
Oh, do you mind? I'm expecting a friend. Not at all. Can you do a number 17? Certainly. Has your friend arrived yet? Um, no, not yet. He does a wonderful cafe au lait. Hello. Oh, hello. Joyce, this is Roberta. Roberta, this is Joyce. She used to work for me. I ordered for you. Oh, I can't. That's my binge food. We were just talking about the one who likes bus terminals. Do you remember that one? Vaguely. If you want to meet people, particularly strangers to a city, there's no better place than a bus terminal. I would love to hear the end, but I have to go. It's going to be a very busy afternoon. Excuse me. I'm a friend of Tony's. Oh, that's nice. I believe the story is just beginning to get interesting. The way everyone was conning everyone, I think she had the most honest relationship. what on earth happened to mine? In a Caucasian restaurant, you really have to keep track of your waiter. They all look alike. Do you want any help? Please. Excuse me a few minutes. I'm expecting a very important call. Sure. Mm -hmm. Better still, give my compliments to the chef. waiting. Oh, get him, tiger.
excuse me. Did the lady that I was with leave any messages for me? This broadcast, yes. Your friends left this to you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so what did you think? I guess that's my catchphrase, huh? You know, I made fun of myself for saying it too many times and now I say it all the time because I made fun of myself. What, what did you think? For real though, what did you think? If you're new here, I'm Jason from Barefoot and this is Squeaky Clean Adult Films. I always do a little intro and a post-film discussion. This film was 82 minutes. We got it down to about 11. It was X. We got it down to the squeakiest of clean. G, the color palette. Let me adjust my hat. The color palette is amazing. This is like a commercial for Easter eggs. Are you with me? Everything's so pastel and light green. I love it. Besides the color palette, I love the camera work. We got a lot of shooting on long lenses. We got a lot of camera zooms. One of my favorite, it's uh, just city streets, so there's no actors in it. We have a pan and then we stop. Now that would usually be your shot. And then we wait about two full seconds and then we start to zoom. Zoom, this way, this way, this way. I love CJ's performance. However, Annette Haven is slowly turning into one of my favorites. She went from never on the bad side, but in the good, good, I like, medium category to <laughs> joining my favorites. I mean, just within the last week we did there's an incense lit. Can you see that? I mean, just this last week, we've seen her twice pop up here at Barefoot. Eight to four, which she was the lead and did amazing. And Honky Tonk Angels. She was in one of, uh, that was a compilation by Richard Mallet. I like seeing her pop up everywhere, man. She's awesome. CJ Long is not Barbara Streisand, okay? I did overhear someone saying, Isn't that Barbara Streisand? No, it's not. But that would be funny, since this is a Barbara broadcast. Hey, it's Barbara Broadcast. Let's get a, an actress that looks like Barbara Streisand, but prettier and cooler. Oh, this did have a little eight second intro by me shrunken down and I was talking about copyright infringement. This film clearly did not care about copyright infringement. Maybe that's why this hasn't released on Vinegar Syndrome because this is a heavy hitting classic. You would think this would be on Vinegar Syndrome, but I wonder if it's all the red tape of copyright. Now, this did get claimed and I did have to pull a song. So in the disco, Please enjoy an amazing song that we made called Boy, I Don't Like Shopping with Larry. I directed the music video. My friend Ryan, 
who's in the band, Brian Bland, he made the music. Fun fact for Barefoot and weird fact, I got the idea to make this editing, uh, this video, I did not direct it like on a set. I did it all by myself in and just as an editing project. And in this editing project, I thought dancing in adult films, maybe dancing in cult films. Let me just edit a bunch together and just make it because this song's a banger. It works so well because I just used it in Barbara Broadcast just for a little chunk because uh, we got the video got taken down because of this song is in the disco so we replaced it with ours i got the idea to make this music video and then what do i do i just realized this this is why i said the weird part i did not include this footage in the music video the whole music video it's dancing in like 20 to 30 different movies okay the genesis was me replacing the song in barbara broadcast and in that footage and then i look at it just right now when i was writing the script and I didn't use any of this dancing footage in the dancing footage music video that I got the idea from in this. Weird. Okay, okay, okay. I've, I've talked enough. enough. Hey, we have a horrible trailer to a film that's unreleased. It's claimed. So, because it's got a Dinosaur Jr. song in it. I'm going to put it in the end card. Uh, Intersection in Union something. I don't know what the YouTube video is called, but the movie's called Intersection Union. So it's probably like something like that. Tell me what you think. That little puppy came out of my brain. Okay, real quick. If you guys did not watch the new release on Sunday, 8 to 4, I did make an announcement that I was going to try to release five midweek drops. The midweek drops, once again, if you're new here, are all the films that were pulled 101. And we're over halfway done with getting them all back out. Sunday and Friday are already taken up from our regular programming. Leaving us with five days. I'm going to try to fill those with five midweek drops. So, wish me luck. Alright, thanks for watching. All of you that love us so much and have asked us how can we help out Barefoot. We have two donate buttons. Cash App, PayPal. For you. To give to us. Now, please remember, you don't hear it barefoot, you don't, don't subscribe, don't like, don't share. We just want your attention. Just watch. That's what it says. It doesn't say, we just want your attention. Just watch. I appreciate all of you. Thank you for taking this time with me to look at an amazing motion picture. Then Wade Nichols, obviously, I've already talked about it twice, is our shirtless dishwasher. Or our uncredited kitchen worker. Let's make a pact right now between you and I. Let's just call him the shirtless dishwasher. I mean, he is. It, she When she walks back there and she just sees him washing dishes and she's like, just, she's mesmerized. She can't stop watching this. In this elegant, classy hotel, why are you washing dishes shirtless? It's because he's a hard worker. You get wet washing dishes. I know what you're saying, Jason. He's not the dishwasher, he's a cook. I got in a fight in seventh grade about this with He's just a dishwasher. He's cooling off with the steam. Just because he opens up those pots doesn't mean he's the cook. This is an age old thing people fight over all the time. I'm telling you, he's a shirtless dishwasher, cooling off with the steam. He's not a cook.